Hey guys, I'm Avail back again with another video. This time let's talk about the Android 12 Beta 2 update and I have this Pixel 4a which is running on Android 12 Beta 2 update. So in this video let's talk about some of the features which are really significant when it comes to Android changes, you know. So before you start, if you're new to my channel then do hit the subscribe button to watch more videos and if you're already subscribed, a big thank you all of you guys. So let's get started. So first of all, let's start with the most significant change and that is the overall UI changes here. And I believe that this is the biggest change when it comes to, you know, overall UI changes with a particular, you know, Android system update. Now you can see that the clock is looking different, the font is bigger now and the place of this, you know, date is also different and it is actually looking good. And now we have, you know, a charging animation as well. Here you can see the charging animation is looking good. Now if you unlock, here you can see that the pattern also has some kind of animation. So it is actually looking good. Now there is something called Material U that uh, has been you know, launched with this particular update. Now this theming or I can say this um, wallpaper based theming or Material U, all the features are not available on this Pixel 4a. So I believe that uh, with the new updates you know in future that will be available now you can see that the overall theme is looking different now yeah if i change the wallpaper that will change accordingly suppose i'm switching to this one now so you will see that the icons and everything will change accordingly even if i go to lock screen yeah the font color everything changed so it is actually looking good and uh, even if you check the notification here here you can see that the notifications are well grouped now yeah and even the shapes are actually having rounded edges now yep the quick tiles are looking different and they have added certain quick tiles you can edit and drag and drop here to use them i'll be telling you the things later about the quick tiles now you can see that the brightness slider is also looking different and it is actually looking good now the volume slider here it has been changed a bit here you can see that they have added this point here so it will show you that this is the 50 percent here yeah it is also looking good now even the power menu has been changed now we have this pop-up and it is actually better than the previous one according to me so overall ui changes they are looking good and i believe that with the next update Google or Android will add all the material new features to all the Pixel devices and I hope that it will also come to other non-Pixel devices as well. Now, next thing is about the privacy of your data, your device. Now Google has added certain features or I would say changes here. Now let me show this if you go to settings here and then privacy. Here you will get this thing called privacy dashboard where you will be getting timeline here. Yeah? For example, location usage, it will show you when which app has accessed your location. For example, these are the apps which have used. Here you can see that with timing, you will be able to see it. Similarly, if you use camera, here you can see camera access with the timeline. So it is really useful if you want to track apps which are using your location or your camera. Now, another thing is there, as I was saying about the quick tiles, here we have you know additional quick tiles here let me show this suppose camera then mic so if you restrict or block the access here no apps will be able to access your camera or your location for example i have blocked camera here let me show this okay here blocked now even the system app the camera app will not be allowed to use the camera so if you if you want to unblock it unblock here like this and another thing is this indicator will be there Whenever any app accesses your camera or your mic, the indicator will be there. Let me show this again. Suppose this is the recorder. And if I start, it will show, unlock, the mic access indication is there. So it is also really good if you want to keep a proper track of your you know, privacy. So this is really good according to me. And what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. They have actually modified this internet quick tile a bit so now it gives you this pop-up window separately at the bottom so you can make the changes here switch to different networks yeah now this is also very handy you know uh, instead of opening the 
whole settings, okay? So this one is also a really good addition according to me. Next feature that I've found useful is the addition of one hand mode here. To find it out, simply go to settings and then system, then gestures and this one, one hand mode, yeah? Simply turn this on. Now, suppose I have opened uh, this one, this app photos. Now, if I want to switch to one hand mode, simply slide down like this and then you can be able to, you know, uh, use this in this one handed mode. Yeah. So I believe that this is also useful if you are in need of it. Let me know what you think about it. If you just want to switch to full hand, then simply swipe up like this. That's it. Yeah. Next one is the widget menu. If you go to widgets now, here you can see and it shows you actually how does it look, uh, you know, how will it look actually uh, if you pin it on your screen. Okay, suppose this one, Netflix. So this has been changed and based on what they have promised during the last Google event, uh, it appears that there will be more widgets uh, which will be added to this menu. And I'm really interested to see how the widgets will look in the next update so if you're interested in widgets let me know in the comments now let's talk about certain things which are actually available on android uh, 12 beta 2 but that are not working on this pixel 4a first one is you know the wallet on the lock screen if you search here wallet let me show you this yeah here wallet it is not actually working with this one pixel 4a and I believe that this is going to be activated in the next update for this Pixel 4a as well. Now, what is it? It will be available on the lock screen so that you can access your wallets uh, like uh, Google Pay, your cards as well. So that can be really handy, yeah? Next one is about the tap menu. Okay, let me show this. Now, what is it? Let me show this. Yeah, quick tap. Now, what is it? This option is there. Even you can set the settings here but still it is not working that means what suppose if you want to take screenshots suppose this has been selected already now if you tap the back okay so the device will capture the screenshot but it is not working on this device another thing which has been added that is game mode now let me show you this where is it if you go to notifications and then yeah where is it do not disturb and then if you go to schedule there you will find this out yeah gaming mode but it is actually not fully activated it just uh, you know enables the do not disturb you know uh, what again the schedule there is nothing more to it at present but i believe that with the next update this will be improved and fully functional so guys i believe that these are the things that um, i can see that uh, should be available on all the pixel devices you know and i'm really eagerly waiting for that so what do you think about it let me know in the comments so guys that's it in this video and i believe that i've covered all the new features and the changes however if i have missed out any then do let me know in the comments and uh, before leaving do take care and do the subscribe button and the like button if you end up liking my videos to support this channel okay so till the next video guys cheers